Hey y'all, and welcome back to the channel where this is kind of a, <laughs> let's go over here in the shade. Ooh, that's better. This is kind of a, a wrap up or a throwback to the past two weeks we've been. Recap, to let you know where we've been the last two weeks without our RV and yeah. kind of why. <laughs> so a lot of y'all know our son got married. That's was supposed to be a week without the rig and it ended up turning into two weeks without the rig and if you want to learn more about that go watch our past live it, it's a doozy yeah um, we don't really want to get into it because it was kind of a not pleasant experience but it ended up good because we got to spend a week with our daughter that we didn't expect to get right. to spend with them and um but anyway we celebrated with the newlyweds once again this past weekend in louisiana and we picked up our rig Sunday and brought it directly here. To Florida RVs. Georgia. Uh, Georgia. <laughs> you can find them. It's Florida RV LLC, but their name is Florida RVs Georgia because the owner, Robert, loves Florida, but he actually lives in... You're good. You're good. Come on. It's not going... <laughs> this is our service guy that Michael. has <laughs> has been doing all the fantastic work on our, our rig. Of, and just to let y'all know, nothing was really broken. It was just kind of punch list items that, that we needed to, to get taken care of before we head out west. But and bless their hearts, they worked on it so hard for two whole days. <laughs> yeah, two whole days. And here's here's the nice thing about why I would tell anybody to buy from, from Florida RVs. So this whole lot here, and it, it's just a, I mean, they keep it very well maintained you know, it, it's a good sized building. But the beautiful thing about this is that when you're here, if you get your rig serviced here, what they do is they, they let you hook up to their water and power and stay in your rig if you want to. So for the past two days, not only did we, we stop here with the rig to get a few things done, which we'll show you what they are here in just a minute, but we, we got to stay in our rig. We didn't have to buy a pay for a hotel um thank goodness because we've had enough hotels to last us a long time now you don't get sewer but you do get get power and water and you know they they've worked their butts off they they even overnighted some magnets so that they can do those first thing in the morning um they just can't say enough great things about them so let, let's go over some of the things that they did Y'all will have to excuse the mess. The first thing that we're going to show you, and I'm going to get Maria to pull a drawer out. So, this drawer right here, during travel days, was opening up, and somehow or another, it was banging on on that there. I think when the slide comes up, it goes up a little bit, and it just right. rubbed on this one and rubbed on that one so what they did was they put an extra magnet they put an extra magnet there and there on all the drawers in yeah. the this in one the kitchen these two the next thing that they did a lot of people fuss about this everchill refrigerator and so they figured out how to work this thing and as you can see Ours is now set to a hard freeze on ice cream, but it's also set to 36 degrees on the inside. And if we open it up there, it's still, it's not quite there yet, but it's better than it was. Definitely. Cause it wouldn't go below 40 before. Right. So the next thing that they did is in the shower and this little guy right here we 
we didn't have a shutoff valve on ours, so they replaced this head for us. Because if you're using a um, on-demand water heater, it it takes so much water to get the thing going because it doesn't start heating the water until it sees flow. And by the time it would get warm, then you get in and you wash around. We didn't have a way to shut the water off, so we were wasting a boatload of water. This way we can turn the, the water off. So the next thing that they that they replaced for us is this sink faucet. And we did not like the one that came from the factory because it hung down to right here and you could hardly get your hands under it to do anything with it. So it's we like that a lot better. Then for some reason our rig did not come with a dimmer even though it was supposed to so now our bedroom lights dim so they put that on for us then now this was actually the only thing that was broken that we broke it probably. and we broke it <laughs> so we had too much weight up here and it caused this to separate and it was just this piece that separated from the, the top and the bottom, but they went through and, and they have now fixed and secured that. The other thing, the last thing that we had them do um, was we found a bunch of vinyl tubing in our rig. And while it was not leaking, it wasn't supposed to be there. The Ahara brand is supposed to be all PEX. So we contacted East to West and East to West said, you know, take it back to the dealer. We'll pay to have all the pecs or the vinyl tubing replaced with pecs. So we'll show a picture of how much vinyl tubing they pulled out of this thing. And it took them the better part of a day just doing the, the water lines, which is the primary reason that in the shelf why we brought it in here. Mm -hmm. now, this was all the vinyl tubing that, that came out. And you can see that it's just not the way it's supposed to be but that's the that's the inside of of the vinyl tubing i wish i had, there was another piece out here that showed how loose these connectors are when they're when they're in this stuff and they just slip in and out but if, if you look at at how tight that has to get to clamp around that PEX connector, that that's insane. So this is now what we've got, and everything in this rig is now PEX. I love that they did that radius bend right there with PEX. That's that's great work. That's the water pipes going up to the to the bathroom sink. That's the other one going up. They literally replaced all of it. That's to the toilet. The very last thing that they did, we're not actually gonna show y'all on video because we're gonna release a sole video on that and it has to do with security while you're on the road in an RV because we get a lot of questions about that mm -hmm. and we're gonna do that in, in a whole video. Um, because I think it warrants it. It's, it's a pretty broad topic. So Maybe next week or the week after. Maybe next week. But in the meantime, I've got to get all the stuff put back in the fifth wheel that we took out for them to do their work. And Maria's got to get this video edited and we're going to be out of here and sometime maybe tomorrow. Maybe upload it tonight, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, we're going to say goodnight and... Sayonara. See you next week. <laughs>